Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome. It is Wednesday, Wednesday, April the 24th. I don't always share the date. I used to do that a lot. I don't know why I don't do that. How's your Wednesday going so far today? Everything is possible. Stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. Today, we're talking about how everything is possible. But before we get to that, i got to say good morning to you. And in order for me to do that, you have to let me know that you're here. So um, I have to try and figure out a new way to say this because next week, Facebook's going to start penalizing us for saying this. But, oh. I should probably do that. That probably sounds a lot better, doesn't it? Algorithm change on the way with Facebook. They're going to start penalizing you for asking for comments. So I don't know. Maybe I'll put it in my lower third. (laughs) Hey, uh, but do what Joe has done. Ah, That's what I can do. Do what Joe has done. Leave me your name, uh, where you're watching from. Say hi, whatever strikes your fancy. And uh, that'll let me know that you're here, and I can say hi to you. Joe takes this opportunity every morning to say good morning to all of America. Keith does, too. He just doesn't say it out loud. But he's saying hi to actually the whole world. Good morning, world. All right, enough of that. Let's get on with today's topic. Today, all week we've been talking about choices and how the quality of your choices can affect or create, in fact, the quality of your life. Today I want to, uh, to talk about this idea that everything is possible. Everything, anything is possible. If you doubt that, take Elon Musk, for example, decided he wanted to live on Mars. Nobody's going to Mars. So he started building rocket ships. Now, you know, Elon has resources, and those resources are helping him build the rocket ship. But still, he had a vision, decided, and started acting on it. Today's quote comes from Pablo Picasso. It says, everything you can imagine is real, which actually is kind of scary if you look at some of Picasso's work. What was that guy imagining? But the point is, and and the thing that I want you to take away, is that so often we limit ourselves by thinking about all the things that are in between here and the outcome we want to create. Instead of focusing on the outcome, we focus on all the reasons why we can't get there, all the, the perceived obstacles that are in the way. Good morning, Abby. Glad you're here this morning. Well, When we begin to focus on those perceived obstacles, what happens? You guys should know this by now. When you focus on the things that are in the way, something magically happens. More things show up to be in the way. But if you focus on the outcome, spend all of your time focusing on the result that you want to get, those little things in the middle don't really seem so big anymore. So we build up this this big imaginary forest of obstacles And, well, I can't get to the other side of the forest. Look at all those trees. And we just completely dismiss the value of what's on the other side of the trees. If there was a bear behind you chasing you, I bet you'd find a way to get through the trees, right? Now, in some respects, that's the difference between, you know, uh, pleasure and pain motivating you. (laughs) The pleasure of the result versus the pain of the bear catching you. Sometimes we can use those to motivate ourselves, but but don't lose sight of the outcome. That's the prize. Don't lose sight of the prize. When you do that, all these other things begin to become really big. And when they become really big in our mind's eye, we can't overcome them. One of the things that I um, you should see is it comes out on Instagram here in a few minutes. Uh, the example I use was don't let them be big rocks in your way. Think about them as little gravels that pave the road, right? If you do that, 
then all these things, they're just not as important. Oh, man, that's a novella, Joe. (laughs) Yes, I like that. I can't ask for it, but you guys certainly can. Maybe that's what I need to do. That's a great, that's a great idea, Joe. We'll have to talk about that in a little bit. All right. So back on point here. Don't let, don't let your own constraints. And look, these obstacles that we put in our way, who put them there? We did. Our mind did. So. How do you get those out of the way? How do you overlook those? How do you get around uh, focusing on those things that are blocking you? We find somebody to help you change your mindset. That's what I do. Get you a coach. Get somebody to sit down with you. Get a friend. Sit down with you. Walk through those things. Get a different perspective on it. When, When we are only in our own head, then we can only see what we make real. Right, but when we get another perspective, it might change the, our whole outlook. All right, all right, that's it for today. Don't let the trees block you from the obstacle. Don't let the rocks. Don't let the. Don't let your own self-created obstacles prevent you from getting there. Use them as stepping stones. You like that? When we begin, and I'm just going to share this that I wrote with you a few minutes ago. When you begin to focus on the outcome rather than the steps, the size and quantity of the steps begin to shrink. Instead of huge boulders blocking your road, they become gravel paving the road. Stop focusing on the rock. Start prior, Start focusing on the prize and enjoy the journey. That's it for today. It is Wednesday. I'll be back here again tomorrow with another brand new installment. Until then, and then the rest of this week, I can ask you, if you got value from our time together today, be sure to like, thumbs up, hearts, whatever's appropriate in the venue where you're watching. And if and only if you got value, share this video with your network and let them uh, share in that value as well. All right, that's it. You guys have a fantastic, how about you? Have a wonderful Wednesday. I'll talk to you tomorrow.